Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Wizzy, as you guys all know. Now today, guys, I'm going to be bringing you guys some very uh, informative and very interesting information about the four weapons we know of in Black Ops 3 in the SMG class set. So we only know a four, as I just said, so there are still two more to be unlocked uh, within the SMG class set. So I'm going to explain the four and what their characteristics are and how they actually resemble uh, other weapons that have been in past Call of Duty. They actually resemble a lot of them that have been in Black Ops 2. Uh, that's because Black Ops 3 is coming out and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. But some of them do resemble other guns from past Call of Duties as well. So the first weapon on the list is the Vespa. So this SMG is full auto. It has the fastest fire rate out of all the SMGs in the class set. You guys can see the picture on screen of this weapon. Uh, this gun reminds me of the MP7 a lot. Uh, this gun is really, really good at medium to long, not medium, medium to close ranges. Uh, long range, the recoil starts to kick a bit and it starts to go everywhere, exactly like the MP7 did. Uh, the recoil tends to go around in a circle more than going up in the air. But this weapon has a very, very fast fire rate. So the next weapon uh, that we know of so far is the VMP. Uh, full auto, strong damage output at the cost of a smaller magazine. The fire rate is also reduced quite a bit uh, as compared to the Vespa uh, we just talked about. But this gun reminds me a lot of the PDW from Black Ops 2 as you can see on the screen. This is very, very similar to the Black Ops 2 weapon, the PDW 57 and it also reloads a lot like it. The iron sights are very similar as well. So the next weapon we know of, I've talked about this gun with you guys, it's called the Weevil. You guys have seen me talk about this, of course, uh, in a video already. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to go check out my channel and look for that video. Uh, just talk about the characteristics of that weapon and how it's probably one of the best SMGs within this game. So this thing is fully auto, has a huge magazine, and it does modest damage. And this reminds me a lot of the P90. It does modest damage at all ranges, but the reload, the way the gun looks, the iron sights and everything looks like the P90. But one of the things that's a little bit different, I said the iron sights look like the P90, they actually look like more like the Scorpion, but I explained that in my video, so if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. And the last weapon we know of is the CUDA. Uh, it's full auto, steady fire rate with balanced recoil, and this gun reminds me a lot of the MP5 or the MP5K. That gun, I think, is from MW3, if I can remember correctly, and MW2. But yeah, this gun just looks like that gun, and it also... Uh, is very similar in the way it works and the way it plays as the same to the MP5K within the other Call of Duty's. But that's the full guns we know of, guys. Let me know which one oh God, you guys might be using in the beta coming out. I don't know if they're going to release the other two guns in the beta. We're still not quite sure, but let me know which guns you think are interesting, which guns you wanted to come back in the SMGs, if they bring back any weapons uh, and made them futuristic or anything. I'm really happy that they bring back the PDW because that looked really awesome. One of the guns I wanted them to bring back was the MSMC. <laughs> that gun was just used a lot by people. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to go check out my channel for more videos and go subscribe to it. That would be hugely appreciated. If you guys really, really enjoyed the video you are watching right now on screen, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. All your support on this video helps me out. And I thank you guys heaps for watching. And as always, guys, this has been Wizzy. I'll catch you guys in another game. It goes for five days. They announced it um, about three days ago now, I think it was. But yeah, the beta only goes for five days. Like, what the hell? They they hyped us all up about the beta, and then all of a sudden they're like, 